that Nick? Is this Double Puff? Oh my god, Double, it's double puff? puff? Oh my <laughs> Christ. So we have... <sighs> Buckle up, boys. I'm just kidding. So we have one of the Actually, sickest puffs around, Nick. Nick? And one of the generally agreed lamest puffs around, Komodo. Oh. Together. I mean... Have you seen... Have you played against Nick? He's no. Sick. He's sick. Is he the prototypical, every region has one, oh, the most aggressive puff I've ever seen? Yeah. Oh, okay, then. Yeah, that's that might be sick. They're going up against... The Dream Team! OC Big Papa and OC Mike. Mike. Oh my gosh. OC Mike, uh, opting to go Falco. Uh, kind of dual spaces kind of guy. Generally yeah. plays more Fox than Falco. Lately he's been playing a lot of Falco though. Really? Yeah, like almost only Falco. Wow. Oh, that was, he went out <laughs> there. Shaboy was like, nah, 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 I'm done with the tricks. But, uh, oh, Big Papa coming in. Making him hurt. So Big Papa and OC Mike, if they were, so there's a top 20 in the CFL PR. Uh -huh. If I had to give a 21 and 22, I think I would give it to these two players. Yeah, Big Papa constantly uh, complains uh, yeah. about, about not being in the PR. Oh. Uh, he has always kind of had really high profile wins throughout the season and has kind of always gotten snubbed then he loses like ever so like slightly, me. like ever so slightly each season. Yeah. Um, and now he's moving back to Michigan. Wait, so, really? Yeah, he's moving to Michigan! What? Oh, did I, did I, spo I hope I didn't spoil like That's a big pop of secret. Oh, man. But he's moving back to Michigan relatively soon, so... Uh, Forever? Probably for an like, unforeseen amount of time. That's impressive. Yeah, very sad. He's my boy. Oh my gosh, that was nice. I'm not even sure what happened. I heard like grab Shine and Ganon back here all at once. Now that I think about it, Ganon oh, and on. teams probably destroy his double buff. You get Falco to give you a setup and then yeah. just fair and they yeah. die at like 50 or something. This is probably Nuts. definitely one of like the dream matchups for yeah. if you're a Ganon and teams. Yeah. You don't want to see like Sheik or Fox. Marth, yeah. Fox. You're like, oh man, these characters suck. Oh, double floaty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can hit them four times and they die. You don't even have to work to catch up to him. You can get a set yeah. off the uh, Falco. Oh, and Falco lasers save Ganon's terrible recovery. Yeah, definitely. All his lag. Oh, that's so good. Do you happen to know which puff is which off the top of your head? All right, I'd have to like watch them play. Oh no. Ganon looking like he was in a rough spot, but gonna make it back. Recovers high. Uh, good interrupt from OC Mike. I kind of like that. Just like simple back air, like you know. the white one looks like uh, Komodo. The white one's playing a lot like Komodo, so I think that's Komodo. Oh, I kind of like uh, maybe not like the worst, but not necessarily like, the, the best choice of like saving tools and shine. Yeah, he still kind of died for it, and now they're not. Really yeah, because it in sets like, up into anything Puff wants. Yeah, oh no. Oh, this could be bad. Okay, he was able to keep the other Puffs on the other side of yeah. the stage. Big Pop in a bad position, being sandwiched between the two Puffs. And OC might get comboed a little bit. Oh, Ooh, big fourth match. Yeah. Bad. And blue team definitely was holding down center stage. Jigglypuff. Yeah, the white one is definitely uh, Komodo. Oh, okay, white one Komodo. I was right. Good Omsa tech. Let's go. Aw, uh, man. <laughs> he probably could have won if he uh, got that fair. I think he still can win. Yeah, agreed. Both these uh, characters don't have, like, really just kill setups on Puff, you know? Yeah, that's true. They kind of have to get like move into move. Yeah. And when you're they have to work together. And like yeah, and when you have the stupid high like aerial mobility of Jigglypuff, that can be a real challenge yeah. sometimes. And it's also kind of scary because if you try to like oh, throw no. out a button, like that can happen. You yeah, know? exactly. If you uh, try to finally set up the other your teammate, you could just hit them because they were at such high percent and just kill them. Oh, see, Mike definitely keeping his back and his distance. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm not not dealing with this. Oh, he goes in. Yeah, that was a nice late there. Um. Play there, underappreciated. Yes, it. It's weird that he's not up tilting. Maybe he's just kind of waiting ever so slight, like ever so patiently for it. <laughs> yeah, but whenever Jigglypuff lands, like you have to like threaten an up tilt. Oh yeah, they for just sure. Run you over. Oh no, oh, boy. 
Oh, you uh, shield drop. Shield drop nice. back here. <laughs> Oh man. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe a miss input. I'm not sure what the up smash was about. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like missed the jump he up there. Have, uh, OC Mike wouldn't have punished it if he couldn't shield drop. Yeah. When I first started playing, early 2015, shield dropping was kind of just becoming like a staple in the meta, yeah, yeah. if that makes sense. Uh, Drug Fox and Plup were really, really popularizing it. Right. And But it was still kind of like. Like, there were still top players that were like, oh, I don't really need shield dropping. Yeah, yeah. You know, blah, 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 blah. Everyone knows it now. Yep. Like, it's it's up there. You have to just know it. Even I it's have finally so started shield dropping. Nah, nah, you need to Finally? Yeah. Bro. I've been playing for like two and a half Oh, my God. <laughs> Cause I, yeah, it's, I, it's like you said. I started and no one gave, no one cared about shield dropping. So I just defining. never learned it. <laughs> Oh no. That'll work out though. <laughs> That's the worst CI in the board I've seen. Oh man. Red team kind of thrown out these rests. Uh, without a ton of support from the other team. Teammate, I should say. Oh, and the Falco lived even. Yeah. That's what I call a punish. They've lived My every guy. single rest, and Kamoto's gone like three. Oh yeah. That's. Good positioning from blue team and kind of frankly lackluster positioning from red team. Definitely. There was, you know, the, I think it was, we agreed Komodo was the white yeah, off, correct? Yeah, Komodo was just completely sandwiched between Ganon and Falco. Nick just kind of not really to be found to help, yeah. help his boy out. Nick's like a sick player. He's mm -hmm. super aggressive, but um, definitely has a lot of like weird movement habits. Oh, really? Where he just like walks or kind of stays in place for a bit. Like he's not always moving, so you can he gets definitely out of position a lot. Just because oh, he's yeah, not like moving to always be in position. Also, let's be real, double puff. Yeah, <laughs> not the greatest team melee. Yeah, I'd agree. Especially against uh, a Ganondorf. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just go gonna get go him. for another one? Just yep. go nice. get him. Fun. Big Pop and OC Mike eliminating Komodo and Nick. Alright. <laughs>